market is one where consumers have very limited choice. Unless they buy from just one or two suppliers, their only option is not to buy. Buyers have limited choice because they are in an enclosed space and can only purchase what's inside that space. In this type of market, the seller has the upper hand. The seller can raise prices without worrying about competitors grabbing market share. A pharmacy on a cruise ship, for example, has no competition. There are no other pharmacies on the ship. However, passengers still need to purchase painkillers, toothpaste, diapers and other items. Passengers have no choice but to get all their pharmacy supplies from that one retailer. This is a good example of a captive market. When you are inside a sports stadium, a movie theatre or an airport, you are part of a captive market. If you want to eat and drink at the movies, you have to buy their products. Sports stadiums and airports also have this regulation. They do not let you consume things that you bought outside. In economies where monopolies exist, they enjoy a captive market. In Mexico, for example, you can only purchase electricity from one company. Consumers in a monopoly are effectively a captive market.